Welcome to DMV Practice Test Pro, your ultimate coach to mastering the DMV test with confidence. Subscribe now and gear up for success. Visit our website for free cheat sheets and other helpful resources to prepare for your DMV exam. Now, let's begin. Question 1. You are stopped at an intersection. The traffic light just turned green. Can you go immediately? Option A. Yes, other traffic or pedestrians must yield to you. Option B. Yes, you now have the right of way. Option C. Yes, but yield to any vehicle or person still in the intersection. The correct answer is Option C. Yes, but yield to any vehicle or person still in the intersection. Question 2. A driver unexpectedly pulls in front of you. The handbook recommends Option A. Swerving into the lane next to you. Option B. Driving onto the shoulder of the road. Option C. Taking your foot off the gas pedal. The correct answer is Option C. Taking your foot off the gas pedal. Question 3. Parking is never permitted. Option A, 20 feet from a railroad track. Option B, on a hill. Option C, in a cross-hatched pattern next to a disabled parking space. The correct answer is Option C, in a cross-hatched pattern next to a disabled parking space. Question 4. The speed limit for a school zone where children are present is dash unless otherwise posted. Option A, 15 miles per hour. Option B, 25 miles per hour. Option C, 20 miles per hour. The correct answer is Option B, 25 miles per hour. Question 5. If you have a conditional driver license, there is R. Option A. Age limits imposed on your driver license. Option B. Special restrictions you must follow when driving. Option C. A special time to renew your license. The correct answer is Option B. Special restrictions you must follow when driving. Question 6. You are repeatedly convicted of traffic violations. What can happen? Option A. DMV may suspend your driving privilege. Option B. DMV may revoke your insurance. Option C. DMV will suspend the registration of your vehicle. The correct answer is Option A. DMV may suspend your driving privilege. Question 7. The driver ahead of you stops at a crosswalk. What should you do? Option A. Drive to the right edge of the road and stop. Option B. Stop, then proceed when safe. Option C. Change lanes, look carefully, and pass. The correct answer is Option B. Stop, then proceed when safe. Question 8. You want to back out of an angled parking space. You should always back slowly and Option A. Look at your rear view mirror. Option B. Have someone outside of the vehicle direct you. Option C. Look over your right shoulder. The correct answer is Option C. Look over your right shoulder. Question 9. You can drive in a carpool lane if you Option A. Are driving an empty 15 passenger van. Option B. Want to pass the vehicle ahead. 
Option C. Have the minimum number of passengers shown on the sign. The correct answer is Option C. Have the minimum number of passengers shown on the sign. Question 10. This sign means Option A. Pedestrians must walk facing traffic. Option B. Pedestrians may walk in the street. Option C. There is a pedestrian crosswalk ahead. The correct answer is Option C. There is a pedestrian crosswalk ahead. Question 11. It is illegal for a person 21 years of age or older to drive with a blood alcohol concentration, BAC, that is, dash or higher. Option A. Eight hundredths of one percent. Option B. One tenth of one percent. Option C. Five hundredths of one percent. The correct answer is Option A. Eight hundredths of one percent. Question 12. When should a three year old weighing 45 pounds be placed in a safety seat? Option A. Under all circumstances. Option B. Only when driving on the freeway. Option C. Only when you are slowing down. The correct answer is. Option A. Under all circumstances. Question 13. You should check traffic behind you. Option A. So you will know if you are being followed by a tailgater. Option B. Only on the freeway or highway. Option C. Only when you are slowing down. The correct answer is. Option A. So you will know if you are being followed by a tailgater. Question 14. What is a safety zone? Option A. An empty lane next to the freeway dividers. Option B. A space set aside for pedestrians. Option C. The meridian strip on a divided highway. The correct answer is Option B. A space set aside for pedestrians. Question 15. This sign means Option A. U turn area ahead. Option B. No U turn. Option C. No passing. The correct answer is Option B. No U-turn. Question 16. You sold your vehicle. You must notify, dash, within five days. Option A. Your insurance company. Option B. DMV. Option C. Your automobile club. The correct answer is Option B. DMV. Question 17. Which of these statements is true about large trucks? Option A. Trucks are not as maneuverable as passenger vehicles. Option B. They do not need more space to stop and start. Option C. They do not need more space for turns. The correct answer is Option A. Trucks are not as maneuverable as passenger vehicles. Question 18. Signal for a turn during the last dash feet before the turn. Option A 100. Option B 50. Option C 75. The correct answer is Option A-100. Question 19. A person can ride in the back of a pickup truck when the 
Option A. Pickup bed has a seat bolted to the frame. Option B. Back of the pickup is equipped with a restraint seat belt system. Option C. Sides of the pickup bed are at least 24 inches high. The correct answer is Option B. Back of the pickup is equipped with a restraint seat belt system. Question 20. This sign means Option A. The driver on the right goes first. Option B. All other drivers go first. Option C. Make a complete stop before turning. The correct answer is Option B. All other drivers go first. Question 21. If you get sleepy while driving, you should. Option A. Drive to a safe place, stop and rest. Option B. Play the audio loudly and roll down the windows. Option C. Drink coffee to make you more alert. The correct answer is Option A. Drive to a safe place, stop and rest. Question 22. You are driving 55 miles per hour on a two-lane road and want to pass the car ahead of you. To pass safely, you need a dash gap in the oncoming traffic. Option A, 5 second. Option B, 7 second. Option C, 10 to 12 second. The correct answer is Option C, 10 to 12 second. Question 23. You are driving on a highway. Your tire suddenly goes flat, and you need to pull over and get help. Where should you pull over? Option A. In the right-hand lane. Option B. Wherever your car will be visible for 200 feet from the front. Option C. Off the pavement. The correct answer is... Option C. Off the pavement. Question 24. You should use a turnout lane when. Option A. You want to pass another driver. Option B. You want to make a U-turn. Option C. Faster drivers want to pass you. The correct answer is. Option C. Faster drivers want to pass you. Question 25. The intersection has a stop sign. Where should you first stop? Option A. At the crosswalk or limit line. Option B. After the crosswalk. Option C. Out far enough to see cross traffic. The correct answer is. Option A. At the crosswalk or limit line. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel DMV Practice Test Pro for more videos. Visit our website dmvpracticetestpro.com for free cheat sheets and practice tests.